Hello everyone, Elspeth here, back with Rising World. And we got our furnace room finished, as you can see, two large furnaces, and take a look at this. So our mining trip wasn't so successful until I gave in to the temptation to fly around and discover dungeons. So now I have gold, mithril, sulfur, aluminum, silver, plus of course a ton of ore, copper, and tungsten. Oddly, there was a lot of that in the dungeons too. But with that in mind, I now need to expand the crafting room. Because as wonderful as our cozy little room was, it's not really going to work to house the rest of the crafting stations that we need to build. Now that I have enough resources, it's time to build the Tier 2 workbench. Because, now that we finally have gold, guess what we can do? We can make an ore finder. I am so excited about that. So excited. That's going to be great. So, just kind of really quickly closing off this end of the hallway. I thought for about half a second about putting a doorway in there and decided that one doorway to the room was just fine. So, this way we'll have room for the next crafting station and I have to figure out where I'm going to put the larger crafting stations. So the grinding station and the paper press, paper mill station. Those are really big, and the problem with the grinding station is that you have to be able to walk all the way around it. So that's going to take some somewhat careful planning. I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to go about that yet. But that's okay. We're not going to worry about that in this particular episode. We're just going to get this area nicely opened up and expanded. And it's going to look awesome. Absolutely awesome. One nice thing, going through all those dungeons, in addition to all the ore that I found, I also took all the chests. So you can see there's a whole bunch more chests up on the walls in here. And there were also more chests up on that little shelf down in the furnace room. So that means that I now have the necessary storage space to hold a lot more stuff. A lot more stuff. I'm probably still going to make a couple of larger wooden crates to go downstairs in our furnace room. Because I think those would look really appropriate on the floor under the shelves. Just kind of complete the look, sort of. But for up here, I think that... I think I now have enough storage chests. I don't think I'll have to worry about constructing anymore. Now I am going to have to redo <laughs> the outside. As you can see that tiny little triangle there, the sky peeking through. So I have now dug through that hill outside. So I'll have to do a little bit more terraforming out there. and. You guys can let me know, drop a comment, tell me if you want me to actually record the rest of the terraforming, or if you would prefer that I do that off camera. Because, I mean, I know that a lot of things like that are super boring to a lot of people. Speaking of super boring things, huge, huge, huge shout out to Hansen, who stuck with me for my, like, four and a half hour live stream on Sunday, which was mostly me wandering around underground mining trying to find gold. So you rock, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out. That is, that was just absolutely awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for the hints, ideas, suggestions. That was great. And thank you to everybody else who showed up during the live stream and hung out no matter how long you were there. Thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me that, um, that you stopped by. So always welcome, always appreciated. 
All right, just kind of closing off this last little corner here. There you can see we're digging through to sky again. So yeah, that's going to have to be taken care of. I have a lot of dirt, but I may actually end up needing even more. So we'll see. We'll see about that. I might have to go and dig up just a bunch of dirt. And I promise if I actually have to do that, I will do it off camera. So you guys don't have to see me doing nothing but digging up dirt. All right, so this is looking good. This is looking good, nice and spacious. We've got, got enough room here to get some stuff done. Um, kind of final decision process here as far as where I'm going to put things. And I, I had kind of one of those eeny, meeny, miny, mo moments um, before I made my final decision about how it was all going to look. And I'm happy with the way that it turned out. I hope that you guys like it too. You'll see here in just a moment when I start redecorating. I'm going to take these down. The shelf is going to come down too. And this is going to get rearranged. So I haven't decided exactly what will go on the back wall here. There's a chance that I might actually have room in here maybe for the, what is it called, the paper mill, paper mill or paper press, I might be able to fit that inside here. Um, that would be kind of nice. If not, then I will just dig into the wall next to the stairs down in the furnace room. And then on the other side of that wall, is where I'll put those larger crafting stations, but I'll kind of see what my spacing options are. And that little block bench, super handy to just move that thing around to climb up on it. Super, super handy. Just kind of take down the unnecessary lighting as I go here. Okay. And sorry for the darkness. I promise it'll get better soon here. Just hold on one more moment and we're almost done with the time lapse. So I will see you guys in a minute. Now we get into the fun part, crafting. So first up, workbench tier two. So we need iron plates, iron rods, and aluminum plates. So with all of our lovely ore, oops, we're going to need, well, no, that'll be fine. Uh, some copper plates, some aluminum plates. I don't... I don't know yet what we're going to need to do with the gold, so I'm not going to touch that just yet. I do know that I have an awful lot of copper and iron, so I'm not really very concerned about that. And if you were watching at any point in yesterday's live stream, First off, thank you very, very much. Iron plates. I have, oh yeah, that's right. Um, thank you so much to everyone who kind of stuck it out with me. <laughs> but what you undoubtedly discovered is that there is a lot of iron and copper just kind of hanging out sort of underground 
pretty close to us. Pretty close to us. So for that reason, I am really not in the least bit concerned about iron or copper. We're, we're good on that. We're solid. We're set. So now we have our tier two workbench set up. Let's just kind of flip through real quick. Take a look at what we can create. Oh, look at that. We've got a flashlight, a pen light, various lamps. Those are nice. Some floor lamps. They're very nice. Okay. So we need tungsten rods to make light bulbs. Okay. Now let's see. Tools. Here's the ore detector. Yay! This is what we've been looking for. So eight aluminum rods, four tungsten rods, four copper rods, one iron plate, and one gold plate. So I need aluminum rods, tungsten rods, and a gold plate. Let's make that real quick. Okay, one gold plate. Uh, now how many aluminum and tungsten? Four tungsten rods and eight aluminum rods. So rods require plates. So four tungsten and eight aluminum. Wait a sec. Oh, I have aluminum plates. That's right. Okay. So eight rods. And four plates or four tungsten rods rather. And presto, we have ourselves an ore finder. And then I think what is it that, okay, right click and it changes the type of ore that you're looking for. So actually let me, let's not carry all this stuff with us. Just in the unlikely event that there is any sort of a problem, this is all highly valuable and I do not want to lose any of it. So that's aluminum, put that down here. We certainly do have enough iron for, I'm going to say anything. I am going to just say anything. So now we take our ore finder and go down here. Let's point this at the rock here. So nothing terribly interesting. No aluminum. Iron. It beeps and the little needle moves. Copper right here. Gold, of course, nowhere near here. We are way too high up for that. So yeah, there we go. That is, that is our ore finder, which is going to be <clears throat> incredibly helpful in finding more ore. So we'll set that over here. And let's see what else we can make. Crafting stations. Oh, just another tier two workbench, which is the same thing we just made. So basically, aside from the ore finder, we can make lights. So let's go ahead and improve the lighting in here real quick. So light bulbs need an iron rod and a tungsten rod. Let's go get those. So we've got iron rods and then these should be tungsten rods which I think I might just go ahead and make a little bit more of. Tungsten rods, which require tungsten plates. There we go. Now, let's just say, oh, let's make about 10 of these. 
Now, what do we want to do with them? Um, I do kind of like these lamps. Let's see. There's colored lamps, white lamps, and then lamp posts. Now this one, the white lamp, is a modern lamp that can be placed on the floor, wall, or ceiling. One light bulb and two iron plates. Um, and that's one that just gets placed on the wall. Ooh, I like that one. Let's make that one. So we need iron plates. We have those. We have lots of those. So we've got 10 of these now. Let's just kind of move everything down here. All right. So I'm going to put, let's put one right above the door. And we'll just take down the lanterns as we go, kind of. Put one up there. And take this down. Okay. So, let's put another one over here. And with this shelf going all the way around like this, um, we can continue to place more storage chests up here as those are needed. Let's put another light bulb up here, or lamp, technically. They're not light bulbs, they're, these are lamps. Wall-mounted lamps. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I would say that that looks pretty darn good. Right? Okay. So now, let's see here. Anything else interesting that we were not able to make before? I don't think there really is. I think the next thing that we're going to need is to be able to do paper. Ooh, you need gold for the blueprints. I did not know that. That is good to know. So, dynamite requires sulfur. That might be interesting. I haven't played with dynamite. It could be fun. It could be fun. We'll probably do some of that at some point in the not too distant future. Um, so yeah, the grinding station and the paper press, those, those take a lot of room. And that grinding station, you have to be able to walk around. Um, so they're not really great to put like in here. Um, I might need to expand the downstairs area to do that. Speaking of the downstairs area, let's get some lights going in here as well. All right. So next episode, I am going to start work on our official garden area. Wow, I don't know how that happened, but I'm asleep. All right. We'll call it an episode. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time to start work on the garden.